Good morning guys. I just dropped off the kids at school, headed to Trader Joe's, because today I'm gonna be filming a what I eat in a day. Okay, now let's get into breakfast. I'm gonna be making that black sesame matcha that I had in my Bay Area vlog and a hummus avocado toast. I'm trying out this new matcha bar brand. I'm gonna do it with almond milk. For the black sesame, I found this at the Japanese market and it's a black sesame paste, kind of like tahini, some vanilla extract, and then maple syrup just to lightly sweeten it. Oh, I can already smell the black sesame. It's so nutty. Let's loosen it up with the matcha. And then I wanna make sure there's no clumps, so I'm going in with this guy. And then you can really see the matcha and black sesame incorporated. We don't need the extra foam. It smells so nutty. Let's give this a try. Mmm, it needs a little bit more sweetener. You can taste the black sesame after it infuses with the hot water. These are two of my favorite flavors, black sesame and matcha. Oh, now it's perfect. Oh my gosh, you guys have to try this recipe. So on to breakfast. I usually don't do breakfast until like 10, 10.30 because I'm not too hungry. I'm just gonna have a light avocado toast with some bread. I bought this bread from Trader Joe's and they have like these freshly baked country bread that is so delicious. Usually baked from the bakery same day and they just deliver it locally, which is so nice now. I have some avocados and then I made some hummus the other day. So just kind of using up what I already have. I like my bread just lightly toasted, not too hard. This avocado is from like a week ago. Hopefully it's still good. Wow. I'm gonna keep this pretty simple. I found this new seasoning from Trader Joe's. It's alio e olio, garlicky and spicy, just how I like it. Citrus spicy kick. And then I add the hummus. Just like a very nice thick layer. Some cucumbers for a nice crunch. And then a little bit more spice just to make it interesting. I've been growing some edible flowers. And then the other day I meal prepped some hard boiled eggs. It's easy just to have it for like grab and go in the mornings like this. Everything bagel seasoning and some of my kids leftover apple slices from this morning. And that is breakfast. So I've been working on a personal project that I hope to tell you guys about soon, but I'll be documenting everything too. So during breakfast is usually when I start doing emails, what I have to get done for the day. I chose to do this breakfast because it keeps me satiated at least until lunchtime and it's fairly healthy. I've been doing a lot more working out lately. One of the biggest things that I have to focus on is upping my protein intake. So at every meal, I try to do some kind of protein and today is a hard boiled egg. And I usually meal prep that like a few, like five for the week so that if I don't have time to make something, I could just grab it like this and then mm. have it ready on the go. And it's easy. I love the combination of hummus and avocado together. I actually never thought to put it together, but when we went to the Bay Area and I had that toast sampler at that cafe, they paired it together and it was out of this world. Okay, it is lunchtime now and generally I like to have like a light salad full of protein and veggies, something that's rather healthy. So today I'm gonna be making a taco salad. So here's some of the haul from Trader Joe's earlier. I have a bunch of veggies. I try to eat all the colors of the rainbow because I love lots of toppings on my salad. And then we're, for protein, we're gonna do ground turkey. I usually like to prep everything first. And yes, if you're wondering, this is an electric peeler. Just gonna shred the carrot. I'm gonna use up the cucumbers from earlier. Usually for taco salads, I love having pickled red onions, but I didn't have enough time to make it, so fresh will be really good in here too. Comment below if you wanna see a recipe for pickled red onions. For the salad, I'm doing a combination of romaine and herb spring mix, just cause I like the different texture. And even though this came triple washed, I still like to give it an additional wash just in case. Now I gotta rinse our beans. 
So for the dressing, I like to make a homemade version just because I changed my mind a lot. But today I'm gonna make a creamy cilantro cumin. I feel like if you love cilantro, this is gonna be it. It's kind of my knockoff of the cilantro dressing at Trader Joe's. But since I don't need a whole bottle, I usually just like to make my own. And so I'm adding a ton of cilantro. I'm saving some for my salad too. I'm gonna add a little bit of green onions. The white part of a green onion, the only time that it's useful. Cumin, sour cream, salt, some maple syrup just to balance it, some lime juice. Oof. I actually love my dressings to be on the very tangy side, so I'm doing lime and red wine vinegar. Hit it with some olive oil. I love this food processor. I hate how it sounds. Delicious. Making homemade dressing is so effortless. You don't have to buy a whole bottle and I mostly used everything I already had. Okay, so I'm pretty much done with all of the components of my salad. Now I just have to cook up the turkey. Add half a packet of my taco seasoning, chicken broth, just a little bit to help it kind of cook down. Ready to eat. I'm gonna start with the salad and lettuce as the base. Of course, since I love it kind of herby, just throw in the cilantro, our shredded carrots, cucumber, cherry tomatoes, our must corn, because we like to be corny. The black beans, some red bell peppers. I love using feta, but you can use whatever cheese you'd like. And then our piping hot meat garnished with some red onions all around. And then two things that I think are essential, obviously, avocado. This is from earlier, from the avocado toast. It's a very, very loaded salad right now. And then I love adding some tortilla chips. We'll just do it like that. And then with the dressing. So this is my protein, veggie-filled taco salad, and it's super satiating. I tried to incorporate a lot more colorful veggies and healthy fats like the avocado and then healthy protein like the turkey. It'll keep me full all the way till dinner. This will keep me going. Mmm, mmm. This is also a really easy meal preppable salad. Like I can make everything ahead of time, prep it. And then once I'm ready to eat, I can warm up the turkey, add the tortilla, the dressing, and then it's like, I can eat this nearly every day. A little bit of crunch in every bite. Okay, so I just did school pickup and Cece is back and she wanted to film something today from her special Disney princess cookbook. What are we making? Stud punch. What's that? It's from Tangle. Okay, so we need some lemon, orange juice, and seltzer water. Sparkling water. But we're gonna actually make it fresh. Okay, so first we have to make a lemonade. So mommy's gonna get a little... I want a fancy cup. Okay, we'll get a fancy cup. What is this one could do? Uh. Okay, so first we're gonna make our lemon. So you can put the lemon in here and squeeze. Okay. I'm gonna move the is camera. Is there any seeds? There's no seeds. Look, there's no seeds. Wow! Whoa! Ready? Pour it up. Uh, and what I'm doing. You can do the orange. Cause you don't want it all over the cutting board, right? Ew! <laughs> way you put a spit on there. It tastes yummy. Okay, so you want it in your little blender? I don't like uh, the spoon. Uh, no, the I need to blast the. Now I gotta add some sparkling water. Sun punch. Whoa! Is it gonna overflow? <gasps> no. I don't want it to overflow. It won't. Look at these bubbles. Can I try it? Yeah, you both can try it. It's good. How about the ten? I'm sour. <laughs> I like it anyway. You like it anyway? There's a lot of vitamin C's in here. Mm -hmm. All right, so it's about six 
What time is it right now? It's about 5.30 right now. We usually have dinner around like 6, 6.30. Tonight, we are gonna have a curry glazed salmon with mango salsa and pickled cucumbers on rice. So a lot of the ingredients for dinner tonight is actually very similar to what we used at lunch, except for the salmon and the mango. This one is about to expire. Okay, so for the salmon glaze, I'm gonna do a a red curry coconut. We're gonna add some aromatics to it. Garlic, ginger. I'm using coconut cream here for a more concentrated flavor. And then we have red curry, soy sauce, maple syrup, and then mix it all up. It's called pomegranate juice, sugar, sugar drink. Ooh. I'm gonna put it in the oven for about 12 minutes. So while the salmon's cooking, I'm gonna make the quick pickled cucumbers. Almost 10 more minutes. And here we have our mango salsa and pickled cucumber. Just need the salmon to finish, and it should be done about now. Mm. Should it go on a light bowl or a dark bowl? I already cooked rice earlier. Just get a nice scoop. Oh yeah. Pickled you cucumber, so some jalapenos, cilantro. Nate is having the taco salad. Of course, his favorite flavors. There you go. And I am having the curry coconut curry glazed salmon with mango salsa and pickled vegetables. Overall, I would say that today was a pretty healthy day. I've been really trying to incorporate more whole foods, like very fresh and very healthy ingredients. And what I liked about this meal is that a lot of the ingredients are similar to what I used at lunch. Mmm. The mango I thought was going bad, but it was actually perfectly ripe. Let's try the salmon and rice. Mm. The red curry mm. with the coconut cream is super mild, but it's such a concentrated flavor. Mm. This is such a great alternative to my usual miso glazed salmon. Yes, I am using a spork, the greatest invention. Pickled cucumber, everything in one bite. This is delicious. All I'm missing is a little bit of sriracha. The kids are finally down. You know what time it is. So I actually found this hold the cone tips, but it's filled to the brim with chocolate. I'm not complaining, but that leaves very little room for ice cream. So this right here is going to be my treat. Satisfies the sweet tooth. I hope these meals inspire you guys to try. I feel like for the most part, I ate pretty clean and healthy. Maybe not the dessert, but everybody needs a little treat every now and then. One of my neighbors said, she's a little bit older than me, but she goes to the same gym. And she said that she goes and she works out not because she likes it, but it's because it's preparing her for old age. And that really stuck with me, even though I'm not like at that point yet. And I hope that these what I eat in a day videos, number one, keeps me accountable. But number two, inspires you to also eat healthier or at least try to incorporate more whole foods. Anyways, let me know how you are able to keep lean and healthy or if you're trying to, what you are doing and maybe we can do it together. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys on the next video. Bye.